Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope everything is well. Everything is good with me. Y'all, I know um over there in Israel and Hamas, they're having, you know, their war over there. And um some of our people got caught up, you know, that went over there to visit because it is a um Jewish holiday that, you know, that tear. And um, a lot of people went back, you know, back there to, you know, celebrate the holidays and stuff like that. So, you know, I live in a community where there's, um, um, it, you know, uh, um, orthodox, not orthodox, it's um, aesthetic Jews, a lot, a lot of aesthetic Jews. It's all kinds of Jews, but most of them are aesthetic Jews. So, I was freaked out, y'all, so I'm going to let y'all hear it. Like, I'm going to let y'all say it so. But anyway, I was sitting here and I was watching, the, you know, what's going on over there, how they just snatching people up, you know, all, all, don't think in Israel just, um, um, there's number of Jews there. That's not true. There's all nationalities there. So they basically snatching up a lot of Americans, like if you're black, even if you're white. Even if you of other countries like Philippines, I heard like uh, Philippine channel said they took some of the Philippines, you know. So now what they're saying is, if <clears throat> if Israel bomb, if Israel send bombs in where the Hamas Hamas people live, like you know in the um, residential area. That they're gonna, they're going to eliminate. Not just um, Jewish, anybody, and they threw us in there. They said Americans. If you, if they don't let them, this is the crazy part, y'all. Hamas said, if Israel don't let them know where they're gonna bomb at. That they're going to be eliminating their people or Americans. They had to throw us in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Americans one at a time. So, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why would they let you know when they're going to bomb or where they're going to bomb? Y'all went over there and just straight went into their hood. You're like, like, it's crazy. But... Like I said, they threw us in there. It is a lot of Americans there, you know what I'm saying? Because you had a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people that go to Israel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, for real. You really do. You have a lot that do go there. And, like I said, they caught them off guard. I don't know how they got, you know, they were slipping. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of funny because McCarthy got thrown out. So now they're saying that they can't send too much help over to help Israel because there's no Speaker of the House in there yet. Man, forget all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, forget all that. Y'all, nah, this ain't no time to be playing no games. You know what I'm saying? Because the the same Hamish people that's there, Hamish, they're here too. So... And if they got Americans there or whatever, they need to just, like, you know, go over there and do what they need to do. And like I said, they Hamish has sent a message to Israel saying, if you don't let us know when you're going to bomb, and if you bomb the hood, you know, like where the residential at, we're going to be killing off Americans and Israel people just like the hostages, just like that. Which is that, you know what, I'm going to be real with you. They can't really pay that no mind. Like, for real, they can't. They can't do that. They can't. They cannot pay that any mind. I know, it's, I, I know it sounds crazy. There's no way that Israel is going to say, well, if we need to let you know when we, we're going to bomb you. Like, that's just totally ridiculous. Like, I don't know what the hell is wrong with Hamish that you really think that. Israel is going to let you know when they bomb you. I'm going to be real about it. See, the way they... I don't know how they snuck up on them. I think they infiltrated. Somebody infiltrated them. I'm, I'm being real with you. 
there's no way there's no way they were showing today how it's made like if some if if the, it, it, it was just showing it today it's somebody infiltrated something they were slipping that's some real slipping you know what i'm saying they came by air by sea by land how 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 y'all well we did it too like when when 9 11 came there's no way that plane should have came into the, you know, to the 9-11. We should have shot that down with, like, a long time ago. Like, we should have been dead that. But slip it. So, like I said, Homage was telling Israel the right now, if you hit us, like, in our, like, you know, schools or, you know, in the residential area, we're going to start, you know, eliminating the hostages. But... Israel cannot really, like, pay that no mind. I know it seems cruel. You know, they can't just be like, okay, we're going to let you know. Just don't kill the hostages. You know, like, like, bro, like, that's, it is what it is. They have to just go at them. Because let me tell you something. Israel have to get them back, like, like the way they came for them. You know, like, they just came in, like, bum rush them. Bum rush them. Don't don't stop. Just just keep just do it so much. Like blah, 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 blah. just go back to back with them, cause they're gonna lose. Like they're gonna lose. They they actually gonna lose. Like for real, for real. And this is what I, this is a, this is America's America need to understand. We have so many Hamas groups probably here. That the same thing happened to us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They work for the governor. They work in for the city. They work in all kinds of positions. They do. Mm-hmm. That's infiltrated. They, you, you can get infiltrated. They, they, they can infiltrate you that way. Like, for real. And I really believe that Hamish is about to get it. Because for you to even say, if you hit, if you don't let us know... <laughs> When you're going to hit, which is ridiculous, you know, let us know when you're going to strike us. We're going to start, you know, eliminating the hostages. That something ain't right. Because there's no way that they're going to let you know when they're going to strike. So I was watching one, the guy was talking, and he was like, it was kind of quiet over here, whatever. And the news lady was like, bro, like, like, no, I'm not laughing, y'all. So I just laugh to let things out like that. That's me. You know, I just, I do that. But anyway, the newsman was talking, and um, she was asking him, asking the, the, the news reporter, like, you know, it's kind of quiet there. What's going on? What do you hear? Whatever. And he was like, well, you know, he can't really hear that good because he got his helmet on. He's trying to take cover. He's like, listen, he's in the middle. I could not be no news reporter. I can't be going to places like that. That's, that's crazy. Like, no, why? Uh, no, why? Uh. But anyway, he was like, it's kind of quiet. He was holding his, well, he had the helmet on. He was, he was holding his ear. And he was just like, yo, it's kind of quiet here. But we look at that. I'm looking at it, and the, the person that's talking to him, news lady, is talking to him like, bro, like, no. In the back of you, we're singing mad bombs. What are you talking? It's not even far from you. Like, are you serious? And he was like, oh, shoot, yeah. Wait, he said, wait a minute. That sounds pretty close. Like, yeah. We, see, he couldn't see what we see. But behind him, it was blip, 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 blip. This, that was, that was, um, I think he's at the, um, border. I think he was in Israel. He was at the border, whatever, because he has to be safe. But they, he's, no one is safe over there. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you right now. No one is safe. No one is safe. You don't care where you at, even the news people. I seen them laying on the ground, all that. They going in. America is on their way over there now with the ships. Oh, God. I'm like, oh, my God. Y'all sending these ships over there. Oh, my goodness. How about if they aim for the ship and, you know, and, and do something to us? It's going to be on and popping. It's literally going to be on and popping because you already know if they freaking try to, like, hit us. Oh, it's going to be on and popping. Mm-hmm. We're going to need the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Marines. We ain't going to need them. We, we, not, we should not get them in there. Let's get, the, let's get these 
gang members. Mm -hmm. Let's get all around up all the gang members and send them up like to shoot people and go over there. And you can shoot all you want. You can shoot them all up over there. Shoot them up, bang them up, bang them up. Mm -hmm. Send you over there. Let you give you, y'all got your own guns. Bring your, bring that thing with the brown thing at the bottom and all that. Bring your, you bring your, uh, uh, what's it, R, A, K, R, A, R, K, whatever. Bring all that. Bring all that. Bring all that over there. And, and do this. And do this. Instead of doing, instead of doing this to your country, go fight for your country. Instead of you destroying your country, send you over there and fight for your country. Yeah, don't, let, let, let the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines put y'all in, put y'all, um, how you say it? Front line. Put y'all in the front line. It's not funny. I'm, I'm being real. Because you're shooting up babies, you're shooting up grandmothers, you're shooting up anybody that just, just, just ridiculous. Put your front line. Get y'all together and, to, and send your front line. Mm-hmm. What, who's going to come out? The activists and be like, oh, they're going to get the black. No, we talk about every nationality gangs. We're not just targeting the black gang. All the gangs. Send you over there front front, front line and let y'all just do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Let loose. Let loose. You know what I mean? This, yes, I'm telling y'all. There's so much going on right now. It's too much going on. Mm-hmm. It's too much going on. Every time you turn around, somebody getting shot over this stuff. Somebody getting shot over that one. Somebody getting shot in this hand. Y'all doing the, doing the most. So let's get y'all together if we need y'all. If they mess with our, mess with the Americans, what we should be doing right now is round y'all up all over. Not just New York, um, Georgia, California. We're going to get them all. Get, get everybody. Baltimore. Get them all. Get all the gangs. We're going to have a lot. We're going to have a lot, y'all. We can do this. Get all y'all together and go over there and do what you do. I don't know what side you're going to be on, but you're supposed to be on the American side. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really is supposed to be on the American side. Y'all know that, right? So, if they send y'all over there, you know you're supposed to be on the American side. You know? I don't know if some of y'all Muslims, y'all going to be like, Assalamu alaikum. Like, my salam. Ain't going on the other side. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Y'all, y'all, instead of shooting children, y'all can go shoot these, yeah, y'all, y'all can let it, let, let, let your good guns do use now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is, this is, this is, not, this is the beginning. I'm telling you right now, if they mess with America. If America's get, oh, they going. If they they on their way there now. They on their way there. The ship is on their way there now. So if they try to do anything to we just gonna lay. We we we're not gonna do that. We ain't going over there like just to you know and just help in or whatever. We going there, we sitting on the water to see what they gonna do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if they feel froggy and leap, it's on the poppin'. So I'm telling you right now, the best people to, to, to let go over there and fight, get the gangs. It's a lot. It's a lot of y'all. Y'all got some good guns. You got guns they never even seen before. Just let them have it. Yeah, let them have it. I'm not trying to pro pro um, promote violence or anything like that, but I said if you want to fight for your country, instead of killing people in your country, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Instead of killing people in your country over over a song, over silliness, that doesn't make any sense. Y'all, young men and women not even making it to the year 20 making it to like 25 years old passing away so young y'all getting killed so young 
It's just really sad. And I feel like, you know, if this pops off, send y'all over there. Mm -hmm. I don't want y'all to get hurt or anything like that there. No. Just do it for your country. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying to go over there and send them over there and, and get hurt or anything. But what I'm saying is you have a reason to shoot off your guns instead of shooting it off in the middle of the street and you don't hit 12 people that you don't know so you you can do this here give y'all a try try it out and see what happens but anyway y'all i was talking about <clears throat> what's going on here but i'm gonna show y'all mm -hmm. yeah in a minute because i don't know what's going on i'm, I'm i don't know this is going down over here. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's a kind of thing. I don't know. What the hell is going on? Okay, we're going to It's more people coming like crazy. Oh my God, if y'all can see from here, it's so many, so many. Leave it. I'm getting tired, y'all. That music gonna be mad loud. <laughs> the music gonna be mad loud. All right. I just wanted to show that to y'all. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Peace.